Hello, beautiful people. I am so thankful and excited. I just got out of church. I dropped my wife off because she didn't want to come out and eat with me. Isn't that something crazy? She says she's not hungry. Um, yeah, so I actually came over here to the... I was going to take us to get our nails done, but she didn't want to get that done either. And then I drove over here to find out that they're not even open on Sunday. So I don't want to go to a new nail place. I'm just going to do it tomorrow morning. But I am hungry and I want to eat something healthy. So I'm going to have to drive over to this place. Um, I just wanted to get on here to say happy Sunday. I know I said it on TikTok, but I had to say it on my YouTube, say it for my YouTube family. Like, happy Sunday. It was so a blessing to have went to church today, been in the house of God. This is my third Sunday going to this church. It's called Washington Avenue Baptist Church and make you feel real homey. No, I have not joined the church yet. I have in the past joined church churches and um i just had different experiences i don't want that to be my new experience going forward in my new era but i just don't want to jump into committing and being used and not by god so with that being said i like what's going on at my um like at my new job I'm a W-2 employee. This is my first time being a W-2 employee as a truck driver. This is my second, my third company. The first company I was with, the longest, which was, which was Prime Inc. Um, I was there almost two years. I was one month shy from two years. Then I went with the next company, which was, I drove for FedEx Custom Critical. I was there only three months. Very slow pace. Um, look at a previous video that I have. I went into detail, you know, who benefit from it, how you can make money. And if it's something that you are into, that you like, that's, you know, you get to get off the truck, have the weekends off, and it's just very slow paced, and you're really not worried about the money, and you like in retirement phase and just want to steal a truck a little bit, then that would be a good place for you, just depending on, like, what your needs are. For me, I need something more fast paced. Um... I was getting tired of sitting around a truck stop. I know you can go camping and stuff. People do do that stuff. We didn't get to go camp. Um, yeah, and then we was, like, landing in areas that was super cold. So I was, like, miserable. Um, but right now, everything is good. I'm happy I'm able to hit the weekends. We have weekends off sometimes, not all the time. Um, we, we're hoping that we get... Well, my wife is thinking that we're going to do the um, Bliss Idaho run this week and if we do then we may be leaving out like monday um late monday night and that seemed pretty cool for me because that means we could be getting home saturday and we'll still be able to go to church if we wind up doing um like if they wind up giving us the ocala run that starts on tuesday and then we'll be coming back in on sunday so we'll miss church and i'm just really hoping i'm praying that god just give us a little favor to not miss church i know sometimes we're gonna miss church but i'm telling you and then they record their service online but it's nothing like coming into the presence of the, of the lord like i was over here wanting to go back to florida so bad because i was like i miss going to the church like going to church yes i'm happy that it's a black church it's a mixture of people but you know it feels very family-like and community-like um and what i'm used to um i you know springfield is primarily white and it's nothing wrong with white churches because they preach too you know, you just got to find one that fits with you. And I was just happy that when I went to the doctor, I was able to find like a social worker lady and um, she was able to assist with a list of churches. And we was just saying we was going to visit a few. But for some reason, we got to this one church and we've been going back and forth to this one church. And I was like, you know, we could try out some other churches and really see what's really in the area that we like. I mean, but we've been really enjoying where we've been going. So... I'm going to pray on and see what God put in my spirit. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, today is Sunday. I really don't want to be in the house. My wife's still tired. She want to, like, just lay up um, and just enjoy her house. And I get it. And I like doing it, too. But today, I'm just, like, in a, a very happy space. I don't want to just be laid up. on My butt be hurting. Because when I'm sitting in the, uh, when I'm driving the truck, my butt be hurting, guys. Like. 
especially this Peterbilt that we driving. Like in the freight line, my booty never hurt. I, I tell you no lie. But in this Peterbilt, like the seats is a little like worn, very worn. So oh, it be hurting. And then I have little seat cushions. I have two. I had a big one that's like for our freight liner. And um we use that, but because of how the seat is on that Peterbilt, it's uncomfortable. Then I have the one that's from my car and I took it on the road with me and it's like, you know, you only want to use it for like three hours, four hours, because then your butt start really hurting with that because of the size it is. So yeah, we working on that. But I try to make sure I get out the truck, stretch my limbs so I can give my butt some relief. Okay. But yeah, I am um in a parking lot, just I'm literally across the street from a Walmart. Um, and I am I'm just feeling very blessed. I hope you guys are feeling blessed. I'm actually gonna write in my book today, see if I've been reaching my goals. Some stuff I've been hitting, some stuff I haven't. Like I need to go to the gym. Today is a gym day. Yesterday we didn't make it, but today is a nice sunny day, and we can go to the gym. We can go to the gym. I'm gonna let my wife cool down a little bit. Um, the gym stay open until like 10 tonight. So get us a little gym workout in. And then tomorrow, we're going to get my nails and stuff done. And maybe after I get my nails and stuff done, come right over here. Because our gym is literally right across the street in the next plaza. So um, I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. I, I am, like I said, I feel so blessed. And if you guys are not feeling blessed, and maybe you are like down and out or have went through something traumatic, lost a loved one, just experiencing, you know, not happiness at, at this moment, you know, I'm just going to stand in the gap for you and ask God to give you peace, to give you that, um, give you that, what it is that, whatever, whatever it is that you're longing for at this moment, you know, we get on here, we look at TikTok, we look at Facebook, and we try to get some relief, we laugh, and some of us, you know, just really be going through, really be going through, you know, people be right there next to us, but they never even ask to turn and say, hey, you know, everything okay, are you good? So I wanna just reach out to you guys right now and just, are you guys good? And if you're not good, like I said, I'm gonna stand right here, Father God, I ask that you touch those people that's going through, that's needing you, that's longing for you, that's desiring you, Father God, give them peace, elevate them, guide their footsteps, take pain and hurt away, Father God, bless them, Father God, let them know that you are there and you are always there, even when they feel like they're doing wrong, they are doing wrong, they're thinking wrong, they're angry, that you are still there in the midst of it all, in your name I pray, I ask for guidance for them, Father God, I ask for healing for them, Father God, I ask for happiness father god i'm asking that you just go down into them father god and take out whatever that's going on and if those tears have to flow father god let those tears flow to cleanse them and let your vessel be open so that you can pour and fill in them in this moment in this time in your name i pray amen so i hope you guys receive that i really like i'm really really feeling emotional I'm not going to cry, but I feel emotional because I feel very blessed. And then I have this emotional side, too, where I feel that it's a lot of people that are hurt, that that's angry, you know, feel God is not with them, that, you know, some of the things like, Lord, why am I still where I'm at? And sometimes you're still where you're at because you're not listening. And sometimes you're not doing what they say. And sometimes you're trying to do it on your own. And he's like, let me lead you you know just sit back and listen let me fight your battle i remember being in those same situations too you know wondering why i feel so stagnant you know being in relationships that you shouldn't be in long but we keep on holding on because we just don't want to be by ourselves or we're afraid stop letting fear control your life stop letting fear stop you from having that business stop letting fear stop you from not being with people that you shouldn't be with that you shouldn't be tied to that you can't that it's okay that you came up and you can say no because you don't have to always give to everybody just because they want just because they want. It's not even a giving because you need. And asking God to give you the discernment to know what's going on in your space. The people that you entertain. The people that's trying to come into your world and come into your space and, and either harm you. And, you know, give you the discernment to know if they're doing or if, if these individuals coming into your life to help you. You will know. 
but follow God, follow God. I, I'm going to keep preaching that because that's what I'm doing. If y'all were wondering what Jasmine over here doing, elevating, you know, whether you see me elevating or not, I know I'm elevating. I have like, like God has given me that reassurance. I feel so good and so blessed, guys. I don't want for nothing. I have. I always say. A lot of, some people be like, you know, do you do you? What is it that you want? If you ask me what I want for my birthday, I don't want. I have everything that I need. When you start realizing the things that are out there, even the experiences that you feel, oh, I want to go to another country. It's nothing wrong with going to another country. But do you have to go? You don't have to. You watch people on um, social medias and you see them flying these different places. And some got the money and some don't. Some robbing Peter to pay Paul. Some behind on bills, but, you know, fronting. At the end of the day, I feel very blessed and happy where I'm at. Can I go take a trip? Yes. Do I need to take a trip? No. I am very happy with what i have i'm i'm blessed to know that things that i lose that's tangible i can get it back because through the grace of god and me working hard and me stepping out on faith i can have anything through christ okay with christ through christ i know for a fact i don't gotta ask nobody back when i was younger i'm 32 back when i was younger i was over there wondering guys i was wondering how should i could i who i need seeking for people if you're when we young that's what we do and sometimes people carry it on they be 45 55 65 still carrying on in that same way but baby thank god god got me he got me because I, I i don't got to carry on like that and i surely don't need no viol no validation from no body when you start getting that understanding when you get that peace when you just realize like being able to wake up and blink your eyes to be able to see i mean look i'm blind without the glasses but i mean thank goodness for these glasses thank goodness for this smile you know this water i'm able to drink like people don't realize the small things the small things that being able to get in this car having your all your toes you can wiggle them your fingers you can use your hand you know people don't realize how blessed you are for the small things and if you can't be thankful for the small things people how you gonna be thankful for the bigger things that god has in store for you you're too busy worrying about everything else. Let it come. Let it come. Don't be fast to rush time. I remember when I was young. Oh, I want to be grown. I want to be grown. Listen, when grown came, the bills came. Them hardships came. And thank goodness I learned how to pray when I was young. Thank goodness I have, excuse me, guys. Thank goodness, guys, I had the relationship. I built the relationship. Thank goodness for the aunties, uncles, the people at the Overtown Youth Center that have given me instilled in me poured in me prayed for me to allow me to be in this place the the church home that i have the family that i have that allowed me to be right now in the midst using all the tubes that they felt maybe i ain't gained or you know i ain't put in my head that allow me to be blessed right now to be in my right now season feeling good thankful being optimistic that things can change this weight can fall off Listen, I don't want to talk your ear off, but I'm telling you. Thank you guys so much for wherever I post this. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Like, I hope you guys hearing me. You know, please be with me on this journey. Drop down in the comments what y'all journey. Hey, if you want me to pray for you, you know, just let me know. You know, we in this thing together. I ain't higher above nobody else, but I tell you, ain't nothing like the peace of God. I tell you, it ain't nothing like the peace of God. And I'm just thankful. And I'm thankful to be able to get on here and talk to you guys. I'm out.